Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we have a reservation for Disneyland, which is well, right there behind me. Uh, we weren't here yesterday, so we missed pin release day, so we're gonna go check out the new pins today. Hopefully we can see Millie, and hopefully we can find some new merchandise around the park. So it's currently 8.45 in the morning, and here's how it looks to Disneyland right now. Not bad. And a few seconds later, and now we're inside of the happiest place on Earth. Look at the train station. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really pretty day today. Look at the clouds. It's not too, too sunny just yet, but it is pretty hot right now. So normally I'd say we're gonna go to the Emporium first, but I think we're gonna head to 20th Century Music Company to go say hi to Millie and to check out the new pins. Okay, so we just got inside of 20th Century Music Company and sadly Millie's not here. And I'm not sure what the new pins are here, but I have never seen this one before. It says Star Wars and if you look really, really carefully, it's actually a jack-o'-lantern. See the face, 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 eyes, nose. This one's yellow, which is $14.99. Man, I'm so bummed out. I was hoping to see Millie. It's been like, I don't know, two, three weeks now I feel like. Uh, she told me she was going to be back on the 6th, so I don't know what happened, but I'll definitely look for her on the next time I come back. But I think now we're going to head to the Emporium and see what's new over there. So, I'm here at the Emporium and trying to look for the new pins, but I remember, I think last week I showed you guys these. And then, I'm not sure if any of these are new, but they have this pretty cool Rebel one. And then I've shown you guys the Luke one. This one's pretty cool. And they have this arcade one. But again, I'm not sure if these are new or not. But I for sure don't remember this one. And then they have this one as well. And then I've... I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this one. All right, so we just finished with the Emporium and it wasn't the most exciting trip to the Emporium, but we're gonna head to Disney Clothiers next and hopefully we can find something over there. So we just got to Disney Clothiers and there's a new Dooney and Burke collection. It's pretty nice, so let me go and show you guys. All right, so usually there's three different items that come in these collections, but today they have a tote bag, which is a magic key bag only. They have the purse, they have the crossbody bag, and then they have another First tote crossbody bag, I'm not really sure, but the print on these are pretty cool. Look, it's to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Disney. Alright, so this one's $348. The crossbody bag is $228. The Magic Key tote is. $368 and then the purse is $368. This is a really nice collection. Let me know what you guys think. So besides the new Dooney and Burke collection, they also have this new sweater, which it's kind of nice. It's like a, I don't know exactly what kind of green this is, but it's a nice green. And then on the sleeve it says Magic Every Day. And it says Disneyland Resort on the other sleeve. And then it's got the castle on the front. And then on the back, is happiest place on earth. That's cool. Uh, the sweater looks like sizes range from an extra small to a 3X and it retails for $59.99. Alright, so that was basically everything new I was able to find at Disney Clothiers. I couldn't find anything new at uh, the China Closet and nothing in Plaza Point, but now we're going to cross the street and see if there's any new Halloween treats or any new treats at all at Candy Palace. So I'm here at Candy Palace and look, they brought back the little uh, pumpkins. They have a Mickey and a Minnie. So this one has gummy candy corn. This is $10.99 and then Mickey has just candy corn. So, but the little bucket's cool. And you can even, uh, you know, give it as a gift. It's from and two. And then over here on the Munchlings wall, looks like they have a few new ones. This one's French, whoops, French hot chocolate Remy. I'm not sure if these have a scent or not. No, they don't. They're just like flesh. This one's $34.99. Then they have a croissant, it looks like. The croissants is strawberry croissant a meal. It's pretty cool. Then I think that's it for the big plushes. And then they might have like new uh, mystery boxes. So this you can get Remy, Emil, Joy, Sadness, Sully, Mike. And it doesn't say how much they are. And then in this box, you can get Flower, Cheshire Cat, Emil again. Uh, you can get Huey, Dewey, and Louie. You can get Leroy, Squirt, and the mystery character. That's pretty cool. And again, there's no price on there, sadly. And then, as far as the treats in the display, sadly, they still haven't put out any Halloween treats yet. They still have all the usual goodies. Same cupcakes, Rice Krispie treats, cookies, and all that stuff. Man, I was really hoping to see some Halloween treats already today, but apparently, from what I've heard, the Halloween treats are not going to be out until like the first week of September. So if you guys are looking for that stuff, make sure to come back the first week of September, and hopefully you guys will find some. But anyways, that's basically everything new I was able to find on Main Street. So I ended up coming to the Star Trader here in Tomorrowland, and as soon as you walk in the store, check out this new Darth Vader sweater. 
That's cool. The pockets are like really, really deep too. Nothing on the back. And there's like a giant tag on the side that says Darth Vader. Looks like sizes range, or they currently have sizes small, medium, large, extra large, and 2X. And this one retails for $64.99. They even have a hat to match. Look at that. This one's not too bad. Not, still not a fan of the style I have, but I think I'd wear something like this. This one's $29.99. Okay, this shirt definitely wins for probably coolest shirt ever. It's a Darth Vader shirt. <laughs> and like the buttons on that like panel on his chest, it's like rubberized, so it feels really good. Uh, and they go up to 3X, so they, it looks like, I'm guessing they start off like extra small, but right now they currently have small, medium, extra large, extra, extra large, and extra, extra, extra large. And let's see if there's anything on the back. Nothing on the back. I really want this shirt. Uh, this one retails for $39.99. So here at the Star Trek, they have some pretty cool Halloween cases. Let me go and show you guys. Well, I guess first, let me just start with the magnets. They have the up for a scare magnet. They have the, sorry, there's a glare. The Horrors, Haunts, and Hayrides magnet. And they have the pumpkin magnet. They have an ornament. Uh, they have watch bands or whatever. They have AirPod cases. This one's $19.99, then they have for the uh, older AirPods, or the non-pros, these are $19.99. They have Haunted Mansion AirPod cases, $19.99, $19.99. Here's a look at the phone case, it's got a 3D effect. So usually when they have a 3D effect, they're a little bit more. These are $34.99, and then, whoops, one without the 3D effect, like for example, this one with Jack and Sally. This one should be a little bit cheaper. This one's $29.99. It's a whole extra five bucks for that 3D effect. They also have a Haunted Mansion case. This one's $29.99, and that's basically about it. But you can also come here and customize and make your own case if you want to do that, but these are the ones they currently have for like Halloween and Haunted Mansion. Oh, wait, I missed one. They also have this one with Jack and Sally, which is pretty cool. It's got that 3D effect. It's got the hearts, Jack, and Sally. This one, $34.99. Man, I really, really, really want that Darth Vader shirt. Comes in 3X. It's black or gray or whatever you want to call it, but it's awesome. Definitely got to get that one day. But we're making our way to Tomorrow Landing to see if there's any new Magic Bands. All right, so here we are at Tomorrow Landing. I looked through the whole wall, and I couldn't find new Magic Bands, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the castle now and watch the band. So it's currently 9.35 in the morning, I think. The band comes out at 10. So I think we're gonna kill a little bit of time and go ride uh, Astro Blasters. It's literally only a five minute wait. It's not bad. Hey look, it's Buzz Lightyear. Or should I say Mrs. Nesbitt. So in case you guys didn't know, this is one of those rides that like are really good for riding when it's hot out. The AC feels great in here. Also you get to shoot stuff. I must warn you guys, I'm horrible at this. Kidding. I've been using both guns since so it's just me riding this ride. And look, with my left hand, I've gotten 18,900, and with my right, I've gotten 5,800 points. And here's my final score 19,200 on my left hand. And on my right, 9,000. I was not kidding when I said I'm horrible at this game. You know, I've never looked at my photo from this ride, but look. Gun in one hand, camera in the other. But anyways, even though I'm horrible at that game, it was still a lot of fun. I still like to ride that ride, especially for the AC on a hot day like today. But I think now we're going to make our way to the castle and wait for the band. So it's currently 10 a.m., which means the Disneyland band will be coming out any moment now. 
Here they come. Hey, good morning. And as always, the Disneyland van was amazing. Also, there's a lot of work going on at the park right now. Like, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride is currently closed. See, look, it's a big construction wall around it. Obviously, it's closed. <laughs> Even over here by the Royal Hall, look. Construction, walls, scrim, scaffolding, the whole nine yards. But look how real these buildings look. <laughs> but now we're in Frontierland, and you know how usually you can, like, walk to Adventureland from Frontierland? Well, that entrance is currently closed. So right now I'm currently in front of Pioneer Mercantile, and look. This is usually where you could walk through and get to Adventureland, but now you'd have to exit Frontierland, go all the way around, and then get into Adventureland. Unless you go around that way by Golden Horseshoe. But yes, let's continue your journey to Adventureland from Central Plaza. And then it says restroom closed. Additional restrooms are located in Frontierland, New Orleans Square, and Plaza Inn. It's looking pretty busy over here at New Orleans Square. Even Pirates of the Caribbean is a 30 minute wait. I wish I can get on it, but the 30 minutes is just too much to wait for for me right now. So we ended up coming to Port Royal and they have a new new emo and two new outfits. Check it out, they have Sandy Claws. <laughs> That's so cool. My son loves number four Christmas, so I might have to get him this. This one's $21.99. And then I think these two outfits might have come out today if I'm not mistaken. I saw the Shop Disney released them on, on online, so I'm guessing they came here today too. The Halloween Bounding Collection. They have a Jack Skellington themed dress. Since $12.99. And then they have this outfit which is themed to Sally. Since $12.99. Like I said, you can find these at the checkout at Fort Royal. She has another constructing like a new restaurant called Tiana's Palace. Well, I think it was like a week or two ago. They kind of finally unveiled the sign and it looks really beautiful. Let me go show you guys. Look at that sign. It's kind of hard to see because the trees are in the way, but this is probably like the best angle I can get for you guys, sadly. Because if I go any closer to the wall, you won't be able to see over the wall, sadly. But from here, you can see the sign. It's right there. Looks really nice. I can't wait to see this all finished. I'm not the biggest foodie or anything like that, but I can't wait to see it finished and just see what they offer. But we're going to head to our last stop of the day, and that's going to be Pooh Corner. So we're on our way to Pooh Corner, but here's a quick look at the work being done on the old Splash Mountain location. Crazy. 
So we just made it inside of a poo corner, and look, it's my first time seeing these in person. They have power lines. Sour lime taffy. I have a few of them actually right now, but these are so popular, they're never in stock. And then they also have the Jack Skellington Nuimo. Just in case you can't find that Port Royal, they have them here. They have the outfits as well. They have, well, it looks like they only have the Sally one. I'm not seeing, or sorry, the, the Jack Skellington one. I'm not seeing the Sally version, but if you are looking for that one, for sure you can find it at Port Royal, like I showed you guys. And then here, it looks like they only have this one so far. How oh, cool. The band two times in one day. What a treat. But anyways, we just made our way back to Main Street. That was basically everything new. I was able to find the park today. So I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.